Okay. So we are now live. Oh, I have any comments? Hey Jackie, first in the house. How are you? Are you good? Thumbs up. Oh, thumbs down. You all okay? Good. Cool. Good oh. Good oh. Good oh. Who else is with us? Hey Jules, you all right? Hey Amy. You all right? Hey, Karina, is it just you or is your mum with you? You sent me a little thumbs up. Hey, Jane. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Hey, let me comment. Let me just do a little comment. Let, let me see if I can wave, hold on. I'm waving, I'm waving. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Are you all okay? Did I get some thumbs up there? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Looks like I'm hitchhiking. Hey, Keely, you all right? I nearly choked on my words then, sorry. <coughs> I was excited to see you coming in. Right. Less than a minute and then we get cracking. Okay, so I've slightly changed the music tonight so that hopefully this music will allow me to upload it. Okay, it shouldn't be a problem this week, so we should be good to go. Oh, oh, are you now? Hmm, in the garden, very nice. You can count me in. <laughs> right, I've got six o'clock. Let's do this. And then straight after, we are spinning. Spin when you're winning. Right, let's put the music on. A little quick warm up. Then if you've got some weights, I've fashioned a weight using cat litter. So I can double up as a maraca if I need to. So there you go. Right, let's do this. Now I want you eagled ears out there to let me know what you think this sounds like because I think there's a few of them that are going to say, Hi John! Good night! Amy, I think you'll, you'll recognise a little bit of this. Okay, just shift the weight. Okay, I've got a little friend with me so he's going to watch. Okay, so it's just a shift and tap. Okay, then you're going to give me a heel dig in front. Okay, then you're going to tap back. Okay, nice soft knee. Knee fell over then. Whoopsies. Okay, now we're going to tap to the side. No arms. What does this, what does this music sound like, ladies and gents? Come on, you'll know. I think I know what it sounds like, but I could be wrong. Okay, now we're going to tap that and arms forward. Stay that, tap back. I'm just going to adjust. That's good. I don't know what leg you're on, ladies and gents, so I'm sorry, I've probably swapped. Okay, we're going to go to the side, arms just up to shoulder height. I would get the little Teddy to do it, but. He's sitting quite comfortably up the top there, so we'll leave him where he is for now. Okay, then tap back. I need a bit of a chicken in then. Four, three, two. Okay, to the side. Arms up to shoulder height. Now back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Four to the side. Two, now four back. Four, three, two, four to the side. Four, three, two, 
One, four back, four, three, two, four to side, four, three, two, one, back, four, three, two, to the side, four, three, two, one, march it out. Now we're going to wide march. So we get our feet in that plie position. Okay, we're going to narrow. Okay, you're going to go wide. Okay, you're going to stay that wide. Toes slightly pointed into the corners of the room. Your knees are going to travel in line with the second toe. We're going to slowly go down. It's like Sarah I've just seen come. Hey, you! <laughs> I've, got, I've got so on me that you've got to try and guess what's on me. Slowly down. Four, three, so you might have been coming up then, I'm not sure. I probably missed out a couple of beats. There we go, we go down four, three, two, one, up, four. Nice and slow, seven down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna squeeze the glutes to the top, down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the glutes, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze the top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze. Now you're going to stay with those legs wide and you're just going to sit back into your glutes. Then you're going to shift. So the feet don't move, it's just about the legs. Okay, so you're going to feel the inner thighs doing a little bit of work. So you're just shifting. Knees and rise. 
So that's what you do when you do two, two many moves. Your brain gets confused. Kick back, back, down, rise. Four more. Curl, row, kick back to the knees. Lift, squeeze the feet. Bicep curl, row, kick back, down to the knees, lift. Two more. Curl, row, kick back, back to the chest, down to the knees, lift. Last one, bicep curl, row, kick back, down to the knees and lift, okay. Just shake those shoulders out. Okay, put the weights down on the floor, go back to that wider stance to the squat. Now this is where my brain gets a bit confused. So maybe don't always do what I say, just try and do what I do. Okay, so the hands are going to be here, going to squat down, elbow to knee, squat, and elbow to knee, squat, down, elbow to knee, squat, down, elbow to knee. Okay, so you sink in the centre, down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, One, grab your weights. One leg goes back into a lunge position. I'm going to move my mat just in case I slip. Okay, so the toes come onto the floor of the back leg, heel comes up, weights come to the shoulder. We go down, 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 up, up. Down, down, up, up. So the leg at the front is doing the work singles. Down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, the below two. One. Okay, that leg comes in. Okay, now the weight's going to come out to the sides. So we're doing a lat raise. Down, two. Up, two. Down, two. Okay, singles. Eight, seven, six, five. Now the further away your back leg is going, it's going to make it more of a 
in, curl down. Then bring the elbows slowly down. Jackie, are you swearing at me? Okay, we're gonna go back. Plie squat, squat, punch across. Squat, punch, squat, push, squat, push. So you're getting a little rotation through this part of your body. Not the hips, the hips are staying locked out because you're in that squat position. Down, push, down, other side. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right, okay, put those weights down. Okay, if you've got, if you've got a mat tonight, grab yourself a little drink, ladies and gents. We're going to pop ourselves on the mat. Now, if you have got a couple of weights and they're round like this, the rows may feel a little bit awkward. So we're going to do a high plank and a single arm row. If you don't want to use your weight, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're coming into a high plank. So the arms, elbows, wrists, all in a straight line. Okay, this is your position. Drop your hips, squeeze your glutes, draw in your belly bone. So you've got about a 30% hold through that lower part of your abdominal muscle. Give me your hands just on your hip bones and then move them in and move them down and draw in. And you'll feel that muscle switch on. That's the muscle you want to be working. Muscle. Okay, so you're in a high plank, you know, up right away for four, four, three, two, one, down, four, three, two, other side comes up, four, three, two, one, down, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one, down, four, three, two, one, other side, four. We want to be working. It's a very, very local muscle that wraps around your core. It's not these big global muscles here. It's a nice deep one that keeps everything nice and controlled. Okay. Right, we're going to go back onto the floor. We're going to work the mid part of the upper back and a little bit into the lats. So you're coming into a superman position. You're going to squeeze your glutes. You're going to lift your hips. So these muscles are working, the arms are above your head, can you see me? Possibly not. Okay, so the arms are above your head, and you're going to squeeze down four, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one. Now I want you, I want you to think about here as you go, four. You put your hand on that muscle, you'll feel it. Four, three, two, one, four. So the elbows are coming down like a lat pull down. If you've got a lat pull down in the gym, it's one of them. So it's time under tension. Down, four, three, two. You're still squeezing those glutes in that superman. Four, three, two. Holding the top, squeeze the glutes. Okay, singles, 12, 11, think about the muscle that's working. Think about the mid part of the upper back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep the arms off the floor and then relax down. Okay, sit back into your glutes. Release that lower back because you'll possibly feel it here. And that is because one of the muscles that runs along the length of your spine is working while you're in that position. As that hips are lifted, upper back is lifting. Okay, coming over onto your backs. 
again, you'll feel that muscle. You'll feel it working. So four, three, two, squeeze. Four, three, two. Okay, keep pushing. If you've got that band on your leg, keep pushing it away. Four, three. Okay, now hold up those hips. Keep pushing on the band. Now you're going to push your knees out and in. If you haven't got a band, don't worry. Just keep pushing those knees away and in. Keep the hips lifted. Hips stay nice and high. We're not coming onto the shoulders. We're just lifting those hips. We're using this muscle here to help us. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold it, then you're gonna slowly lower it down for me. Loose band. Okay, then you're gonna sit in a V position. So as you hinge backwards, you're going to be using this transverse abdominus, this muscle wraps around to keep you nice and secure. You're going to slowly lower. You're going to find the point where you feel that connection. And then you come slowly up. Now we're going to go back down. You're going to find the point where you feel that connection. Then we're going to rotate around to the other side. So this is our Russian twist. If you want to add weight, the further away the weight is from your body, the more of a challenge. So if it's here, less of a challenge than if it's here. We rotate. If you have got weight, again, the nearer your arms are, the more of a challenge it is. So you should feel that in your obliques. We'll be in the moment together. Okay, four, three, Two. Okay. Come onto your sides. One hand goes down on the floor. Just going to turn the music down just a little nibble. Oh, we wait for you. Okay, so we're going to do one for the side of the waist and the back of the arms. So one hand flat on the floor. This is a bit of a challenge. So if you just want to stay with the leg lift, and if you want to just use your obliques, please do. So the legs are straight. Just lifting and lowering the legs. If you want to use the obliques and the back of your arms, ladies and gents, the hand comes across, the other hand goes into the floor and you come up. That's 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. So you can feel this bit working as well as back of the arms. 5. 4. Two. One. You should feel it there as well. Okay, so let's change sides. Okay, so again, if you just want to do that side leg lift, if you don't want to use the arm, if you're worried about your elbows or your shoulders, just stay with the side leg lift. If not, we're going to go 12. The hardest part of this exercise, ladies and gents, is your hip digging into the mat. If your mat's about as thin as a pancake like mine, Together. It's going to be a little bit tough on those hip bones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and release. Come back, just sit on your heels. Come into child pose for me. Relax your upper body. Okay, bring one arm, thread it under your left or your right, whichever one you're leading with. The other arm stays ahead. Relax your head down. Okay, other arm comes across, slide it under. Give that lower back a little stretch out. Okay, then you're going to bring one leg forward, so you're coming into a hurdle stretch. You're going to squeeze the glutes, these muscles, on your back leg. And you're going to feel the hip, reflex, hip flexors release on that back leg. You're going to bring your arm up, and I know I'm going to come forward so you can see me. Give us a fighting chance to know what you're doing. Okay, so you're squeezing the glutes on this leg, and the leg that's on the floor. Then you're going to lift up, and you're going to reach over. So you're going to stretch out the obliques, you're going to stretch out your hip flexors. 
Get a relaxation there. Then you get a deep breath in, release. Other leg comes forward. Squeeze the glutes to release those hip flexors. You should feel that little release at the front of the thigh. Reach up and over. Okay, now just coming back onto the mat, I'm going to get us to stretch out our quads, but I'm going to do it on the floor so that we don't have to worry about our balance. So just coming back onto the mat, bring your heel in. If that is as far as your heel's coming, or there, that's as far as your stretch is going. If you feel happy enough to bring that leg in, and just rest your head so your neck is neutral on your arm. So you keep that head nice and released so you don't hurt your neck. Okay, then you're going to release that side, then the other side. Squeeze the glutes, release the hip flexors. You should feel it release at the front of that thigh again. Those hip flexors are a bit naughty, they do get a bit tight. Okay, then just come to standing. Deep breath in. You're going to reach up. You're going to go one side, then the other, then the other. Okay, give your arms a shake. Give your legs a shake. Give yourselves a round of applause, ladies and gents. Any questions, pop them in the comments. If you want to stay in 15 minutes, I'm going to be coming back to do a little bit of spin. So please feel free to have a little boogie. I um, hope that was all right for everybody. If you've got any questions, let us know. Pop it in the comments or pop it in a little message. Um, if you want any information about any stuff, um, you know this, guys. You are more than welcome to just ask us. I've been trying to do a little bit of rehabby work using the foam rollers and the little medicine, uh, the little balls. If you haven't got those, a couple of tennis balls will work wonders. If you want any information about that, let me know. I'm going to do a little sort of tutorial on rolling. It's quite painful, but it really does work. And if you have got knee injuries, I promise you, that if you do a little bit of rolling for those quads and those calf muscles, you will feel a little bit of difference in those knees, I promise you. So let me know if you want any information, please feel free to ask. Um, and I'll see you next Friday. Off to have your wine. Enjoy. Um, I'm just off to change and get ready for my spinage in about 15 minutes and then um, I'll see you soon. Hope you're all okay. Stay safe. Miss you all. Love you lots. See you. Take care. Bye bye.